Make history do what Nancy Lopez did, Annika Sorenstam did win in five straight starts. Double bogey at one, the bounce back at two. So she starts. And Karen, and the better she plays today, the later she plays tomorrow. Exactly. Stays right there. Great look from just behind. What a roll. This is an awkward driving hole with those bunkers on the right, but this looks pretty good. Just on the left edge of them. Yeah, the penalty area cuts in, but soft enough yeah, there that it's going to be totally fine. This is a par part now for Nelly. Yeah, no problem at all there. Just a little unlucky that that didn't release down the slope. And I think that both her and Jason know that this golf course is going to play tough. There are some whole locations out here today that are going to be a challenge for these players. And sometimes just steady golf is all that you need to do. And uh, there's nobody that's better at it than Nelly is right now. And she's got 101 and a 54 in hand. She had a beauty in here yesterday, Karen, to a few feet. Just outside of a few feet here. And I just really love how comfortable she looks over the putts now. Mm. Yeah, Karen, I think that's the biggest difference in her game. She just stands over a putt and looks like she knows she's going to make it. And if it doesn't go in, it, it does that. It, it looks like it should have gone in. No, not to be. A poor tee shot from Nelly there. We uh, weren't expecting that. It's going to be a drop shot. Not plain sailing. Especially if you've got 236 yards in the, in the bank with your driver. Which Nelly definitely does. This one going on a bit of a draw. It's pretty tight to that far bunker. That's why she's watching it. Oh, just fine. So finds the fairway. More of a die in speed than a force it in the hole putter. She is Karen, but I'd say lately she set up quite a bit left, almost like that TV tower, Karen. Smile for the fade. Here it goes. Looks good. Oh, what a shot. That is really good. Coming in a little bit steeper when you're trying to hit a fade. Got to come a little bit just marginally towards the outside of the ball. Hold the club face open through impact. It's a good shot to hit. If you can do it on command, the fade is a good shot to hit out of a fairway bunker. Great look there. Not an easy one to get right. Oh, she got it spot on. That was just so good. And Nelly gets the five under par within one of the lead here at the Chevron Championship through nine holes. And a great form. There's that push right, break back left, but standing over, she just looked like she knew she was going to make it. She's got... Well, and I think that's the, the confidence that Nelly has right now. You know, she knows that she can make mistakes, but she's got plenty of offense there to, to offset that. And she's bounced back really well today. Every time she's made the mistake, she's come right back with a birdie. And that's a smart play there, just laying it back a little bit, creating a great angle to the flag. You're right, Terry. It has picked up just a smidge just in this part of the course. But I think the humidity is, is a lot greater than it was yesterday. And I know it was pretty humid yesterday, but today it just feels so heavy. Karen, that was I right know. there. Right She's there. rolling it so well. One more rotation of the golf ball. It will depend on how much forward projection you get. I should talk about, Karen, how important this club was to her yesterday and just with the firmness of the greens, the importance of being in the fairway. That is way down there, Karen. Extra distance, able to carry on top of that slope. And it was close to a divot there. I wonder if it just finished in a divot. This swing, Morgan. Yeah, just look at that torque, that turn. She's got so much flexibility, really uses the full length of her arm to go out. And she's going at it. Oh, 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 
shot. And Nelly. So it'll be smooth with the stroke. She thought. Still, it's going to be a par for Nelly. She'll remain one back. Um, Coglin will tee off at 12.15 local time, 1.15 Eastern. Those times you can see on the leaderboard, Eastern time. Initial slope to the, that will take the ball to the left as well. It's off that front bunker. Morgan, every single putt of length, if it doesn't go in, it's right there. Every single putt that she's hit today just has looked really solid. The only one that really didn't look the same down and through it was her par putt on seven. Didn't quite keep the putter as low through the ball as some of the other putts that she's had, but... Nice high one there. Yeah, just got it fading in the other direction. She was set up pretty open with her feet, not really set up to hit the draw. Lowest loft, longest club off the ground. You really have to have a, a very even in terms of uh, your swing plane through the ball in order to get that height and hit it the way you want every time. Nelly's going to be tied for the lead here in just a second. She said yesterday the par fives were key. And they're going to be key again today, especially... The, the bit of release that she's going to get from this fringe. She couldn't have landed that in a more perfect spot. Just can't really control how it's going to release, but very well done. Where her ball ended up, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, wow. yes. Barely, but yes. The sigh of relief. What a par. What a grinder's par that was. This tee shot at 15 here at six under, sharing the lead. Other than that last tee shot, it's been pretty automatic. I'm watching this one a little bit up the left, but that'll be just fine. Nancy, what are the challenges when, when, because all eyes are on her right now. <laughs> Nelly Corda in control, six under, second at 15. Yep, this one uh, perched on the front of the green here, Karen. It is, and she's got a wedge out from 121. I'd say yeah, it did really sprinkle, but I didn't notice any difference because it's so humid out here. Ah, maybe it's good that it uh, rained a little I bit. I liked it. Just the first tentative putt we've really seen from her, which would just chalk up to them not totally being confident in the read. <laughs> We're waiting for it now, and this is as good a chance as any. Uphill to the hole. She didn't hesitate with the club selection and choice. Uh, got caught up just a fraction in that fringe. But, I mean, she just makes it look so easy. It's her favorite shot shot that most players would probably putt. So I'm just thinking about it. That's how well she is playing right now, how great she is. You're disappointed by that. It, it, it's two inches away. There's a little bit of room right that you can use the slope. This is quite right, though. It's got to draw some if it's going to catch that slope. Oh, it's going to move more, a little more, a little more. There it goes. It's right there on the top. Oh. It's Coming slowly, but I'm not sure it's steep enough to bring it down. It's going to be a very quick putt. Initially, it's a bit downhill, but then it will slow up as it gets to the hole. Oh. Oh. Great pace. She's got it dialed in. You can feel the crowd kind of yeah. trying to will that in the hole for her. That's a really good story, isn't it? I mean, if you uh, are right, a fan job. of the game, you live here in Houston, you want to come and see what all the fuss is about, then... The other par five on this side. Really good swing. Yep, that's exactly what she's done. Beautiful drive. Get some roll too.
number one player in the world with sole possession of the lead here on day two. 36 holes in the books here at a major championship for Nelly Korda looking to win five straight 